2024 marks the end of an era for Resident Evil and it's a moment that has fans both excited and nervous. For the first time in five years, no new Resident Evil game will be hitting shelves. That's right, since 2019, Capcom has consistently released Resident Evil games that brought both remakes of classics and fresh entries into the series. But now, this streak is officially coming to an end. So, what does this mean for Resident Evil? Is it the beginning of the end or just the calm before the storm? Let's start with what we know. Resident Evil has been on a roll since the remake of Resident Evil 2 in 2019. That was followed by Resident Evil 3 in 2020, Resident Evil Village in 2021, and the much-loved remake of Resident Evil 4 in 2023. Each game delivered, and fans were left hungry for more. But 2024, it's going to be quiet, or at least it seems that way, no major announcements, no upcoming releases. The absence of Resident Evil at recent events like PlayStation's State of Play has all but confirmed it. Capcom might be taking a breather, but that doesn't mean the franchise is dead. In fact, quite the opposite. Rumors and leaks suggest that Capcom is already hard at work on multiple new Resident Evil projects. The big one, Resident Evil 9. This could be the game that continues the story that started with Resident Evil 7 and Village, most likely in the same first-person perspective. But Capcom isn't stopping there. We could also see remakes of fan-favorite titles like Resident Evil Code, Veronica and Resident Evil Zero. Code, Veronica is a game that many fans have been begging for. It's one of the last major Resident Evil titles that hasn't been remade and it could fill in some of the narrative gaps that exist between the newer remakes. Zero, on the other hand, dives deep into the backstory of the Resident Evil universe. A modern take on these classics would not only revive the nostalgia for long-time fans, but also introduce new players to these important chapters. But here's the real question, what if Capcom decides to remake the original Resident Evil again? Yep, you heard that right. Some rumors suggest that Capcom could be working on a second remake of the original game, using the over-the-shoulder camera style that has defined the more recent remakes. Imagine exploring the Spencer Mansion again, but with modern graphics and gameplay mechanics. It's a wild thought, but it could bring the entire series together in one cohesive style. And then there's Resident Evil 5 and 6. Love them or hate them, they're part of the franchise's history. Resident Evil 5 was a commercial success, but it was also the game where the series started shifting more towards action than survival horror. A remake of Re5 could be Capcom's chance to reframe that narrative, bringing it back into the horror roots while still delivering on the action fans enjoyed. Resident Evil 6, on the other hand, is often regarded as the weakest of the mainline games, so a remake would be a massive challenge. But if Capcom can pull it off, it could change how people view that divisive title. So what's next for Resident Evil? The break in 2024 might seem like a pause, but it's more likely the beginning of something bigger. Capcom is probably gearing up for its next big wave of Resident Evil titles, with Resident Evil 9 leading the charge, followed by remakes that could continue to dominate the survival horror genre. One thing is for sure Resident Evil isn't going anywhere. If anything, 2024 might just be the silence before the storm. What do you think? Is this pause a smart move for Capcom? Are you excited about the potential remakes or looking forward to Resident Evil 9? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.